Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here with you talking about makeup, talking about body care. It is my stress-free zone. It is my happy place. And I have noticed since I've had to slow down these last six weeks, what an incredible, crazy, stressful pace that I had basically held for many, many years. And it definitely has taken a toll. So now like kind of rewinding and settling down, I'm noticing different things that I never noticed before. And I have really as an esthetician been concentrating on my skin, on my face, my neck, my decollete, teaching you about it. And then I recently realized when I've noticed dry patches on my body, lots of redness, lots of patchy redness, feeling dehydrated, which I cannot stand that feeling on my body, tight skin. And then I've noticed recently that I've had like acne. So I've had some acne on my back, which I haven't had since high school. So I'm thinking I definitely have cortisol going at full speed right now. So I wanted to really moisturize my body and pick a clean beauty product. So I've been using Kiwi Botanicals. This is a soothing shower gel. What I really love about this product is that it has healing Manuka honey in it, and it also has chamomile. So this is a really beautiful, like when I get into the shower, I start my morning off just getting in, setting my mind and smelling the chamomile, smelling the Manuka honey. And this is what's so cool about this product that I really like is that it's a thicker consistency than a regular shower gel. I like that. I like the fact that I can cover more area on my body with just a little bit. And also, I love on the bottle that they say exactly what's not in the product. So there's no triclosan, there's no formaldehyde, it's PETA approved, it doesn't have uh, sodium lauryl sulfates, it doesn't have parabens, gluten, silicones, mineral oil. This is very important for me because I'm using it on my entire body. We know our skin is our largest organ and we absorb product that goes on our skin. So I like to put it into a little loofah and then I'll suds it up and then I'll use it all over my body. And I'm really taking more time to really concentrate on areas that really need some extra moisture. So I've had these weird dry patches on my legs where they get so dry that they get itchy and then I scab a little bit. So using this with the Healing Manuka Honey has helped tremendously. So then after I use this product, this is what's really cool is that they have a product called soothing body conditioner this is with shea butter again the manuka honey mm, it's so clean smelling and thick so i love the fact that i put this on after in shower so it's a little bit different you would think that you would put this on after the shower but you put this on in the shower and what I like to do with this step is I can take my cupping and I can use it on my thighs, kind of get that blood flow going because I get a lot of slip with this product. Or I can basically just do my gratitude. This is a product I want to be sitting on my skin. I want to cover my entire body with it and then really kind of just let it sit and moisturize my skin. And then I'll rinse it off. And it's so funny this morning I was like my skin I had a tank top on before I came in and I was like this my skin is so silky and I'm not having to put on another moisturizer after I get out of the shower which I love and it's my two little kind of like stress-free step in the morning you can unwind at night like this too I just am really paying attention to what I'm putting on my skin I'm treating issues that are caused by the stress that I've basically been you know, having recently, I've had stress obviously in the past of just trying to keep up with a certain content calendar and, and live TV and all these other things that I've been doing. And I really see my skin has taken a beating for it. And now I'm really kind of on the, on the plus side of hydrating my skin, healing my skin, and really taking that time out for myself. So I thought today would be a really great time to do a simple stress-free makeup application. And I picked out products that are gonna take you on a little vacation. So if you want to escape, this is gonna be the perfect makeup tutorial for you. So I have on my palm robe, just, just lounging out. I'm getting my mindset. It's all about visualizing yourself somewhere else. And that's what I've been doing recently. I wanna take myself outside of 
this little bubble of stress and I want to kind of create something and pretend like I'm somewhere else. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, with taking an escape and visualizing yourself, you know, in the Bahamas or on that trip that maybe you had planned for the summer, or maybe it was just a weekend trip. So this is what I'm doing. I picked out all my products that are named Beach House, Santorini, Palm Beach, uh, Summer Heat, like some new products that I have. I'm gonna just take you through this. This is really nice. I have a new product called Poolside. This is a beautiful uh, face glow bronzer. So I'm gonna just show you what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna make myself feel better. We're on the plane, ladies. We're looking out the window, we see the clouds. We're gonna have warm sand between our toes. We're gonna lay back with our favorite book. We're gonna have a little Mai Tai maybe. Maybe we'll have a mocktail, a colorful drink. We're gonna look forward to our five o'clock cocktail hour. But this time it's gonna be FaceTime or Zoom with our family, our friends. And we're gonna do this in the morning. This is gonna be a really, beautiful, you know, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna look forward to that five o'clock cocktail hour. I do, I, I set them up with my friends, my family. I say, meet me at five o'clock on FaceTime and we will have a little glass of wine together, whatever, whatever libation you want. So I have a little earrings here I thought would be pretty, right? I'm getting all jazzed up for you today going on this vacation, or do we like this one instead? These are some, <laughs> these are some of my I don't know. I think I'm going to, since I'm going with the coral theme, I think I'm gonna stick with the coral, but I do like these white little cute ones there. So, all right, so here we go, ladies. I'm gonna start off with doing my Bioderma. This is going to be a really nice micellar water. I like to hydrate and remove anything on my skin. This is, you can get this at the drugstore. It's a really great price point. And I'm going to just go over my face. This feels so wonderful, so hydrated. And I just remove anything that could possibly be on my skin. So are we excited to do this together? This is just a really simple look. Probably some of the products that I haven't used before with you. We're gonna be using Elevated. This is my eyeshadow palette because we're elevating our look, our mood, our senses, our inspiration for today. What do we want? Where do we wanna be? What do we wanna do? What kind of woman do you want to be showing up in this world today? Think about just today. Don't think about next week. Don't think about tomorrow. Think about today, how do you want to be? How do you want to project? That's what we're doing, we're making ourselves feel better. Let me tell you too, first I have a little card that's in everyone's orders when you order Nicole Cosmetics, which is my cosmetic company. Um, I give you a little cheat sheet on how to use the product and on the back, I have a wonderful top 10 beauty tips. So that comes in, that's something new that I, that I just recently started. I thought it would be really great for you. Since we're on vacation, since we're going somewhere, I'm gonna show you my SPF that I love using. This is from La Roche Passe. I got this at the drugstore SPF 50, if you can believe it, but it's ultra lightweight. I love it, it's like silk. It's like very, very, very thin. And I'm going to, comes in like a little bit of a dropper so you can see. You see how thin this is? It's wonderful. So I'm just gonna put this on first because we're gonna be, this is gonna moisturize my face too. So I don't need to do a primer. I mean, I can if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna put this on first. This is a, you can see that it's not a chemical. This is a physical sunscreen. So I'm gonna put this on a little bit. I gotta work it in because it's a little bit of that uh, titanium, but I'm gonna work this in. I love using mineral SPFs because what's going to happen if you don't know about a physical sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen chemical sunscreens you absorb the product you absorb the sun that's where you can get get redness irritation when you wear a mineral a physical sunscreen it reflects it's going to reflect the sun great for people that have sensitive skin I'm going to just bring this down on my neck and on my chest I'm going to just give myself a little lip treatment first. This is my Mentha Lip Gloss. This is new for my, for my line, and it has a little bit of infused with peppermint oil. I think it's nice and uplifting. And it preps my lips because my lips have been very dry lately also. All right, so we're gonna start off with my Eye and Lip Primer. This is a wonderful product to use if you have discoloration, redness, veins that you can see through the eyelid, our eyelids start getting thinner. Um, I have just a little bit of discoloration. I like to lighten it up because it's going to prime my lid 
for my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow is going to last all day. It's not going to crease. So I'm going to just tap into this. You can use a brush if you want to. I like to use my fingers for the most part. I get right down into the corner. I go up to my brow bone and you can see, I'm not using a ton of product, but you can see that it really does lighten the eye. So you have a nice primed eye. This is not primed. I really, I can't do makeup without it. I've been using it for 10 years. It's my number one seller in my line. It is the first thing you're gonna to wanna to put on your eyes and you can use it, you can use it and that's it. You don't have to put on an eyeshadow. I've done that multiple times. I'll swipe on some mascara and then I'm out the door. So I've been asked that a lot lately from you ladies and, and yes, you can just use it as kind of like a base, kind of like a bisque color and then just put on some mascara. So I'm going to use my essential makeup brush kit again i made this for you it comes with a little top but i use this to hold my mascara and some um different you know like a cheek stain and one of my eye pencils so i utilize the top of it but this is actually i have double the brushes in here there are eight brushes for you they are 100 percent vegan and what's really nice about this is that this is all you need you only need these brushes you don't need a ton of brushes don't get confused don't get overwhelmed that i made them short also because i wanted you to be able to travel with them to take them from room to room um, also to be protected with the top so when you do get this though i have in here a little cheat sheet on what each brush is used for so you have that it comes with it so you're never confused on how to use the brushes so i'm going to just take the middle color here it's a nice beautiful matte bisque i'm going to take this and i'm going to just do my brow bone up here and i'm going to i'm kind of doing this a little bit different i'm going to do the brow bone first and then i'm going to go in with this sparkling kind of like a sparkling rose color really really pretty but very natural this is all about the lips today i want to keep this kind of natural this is our stress-free makeup tutorial not a lot of color on the eyes this is such a pretty color just use using it from the base of the lash line just up to where my brow bone starts so i'm just taking this across the whole eye you can see i also use this eyeshadow palette elevated on one of my beautiful fierce aging ladies she looked beautiful wearing this palette it was so pretty on her so natural and she really rocked it and it was just really complimented complimented her she had a little bit darker skin than i do looked really really pretty so i'm just going to do that on the actual eye then i'm going to take our our little smudge brush here it's a little short dense brush and i'm going to take the putty color and I'm gonna just go in kind of to the, I'm gonna just do a little bit of a triangle just on the outside. I'm just trying to create a little bit of depth. This is a nice light color though. So you're not going to go overboard with it. You're just creating a little dimension. And I just like the fact that it's kind of like a, just pretty kind of in that slate putty color. And it's just gonna give you just enough if you're kind of wanting to have something but not a lot this is a great palette again i created it to be an elevation to give you good vibes to feel good i mean if you don't wear a lot of makeup you can still elevate yourself with a little bit of makeup just just applying it this just the whole kind of ritual of applying makeup makes you feel better so i'm going to now take i have my all my pads you know i love them I basically will clean up just underneath my eye area because that's why I, I don't put on foundation, concealer, uh, co color corrector yet because I want to be able to clean this up if there's anything that has kind of gone outside of my eye line that I don't want. So I just clean it up, not too much today. And then I'm gonna show you a new product that I am launching. It's pre-order right now. This is amazing. So this is your ultimate eyeliner and brow, 24 hour wear. This has a little brush that is built into it. So you're never gonna lose the brush. So if you want to have a nice creamy eyeliner, you wanna have a, maybe you don't have any brows and you want to create little brow strokes that are gonna last, whether you're sweat, whether you go swimming, what have you, this is your perfect product. I have four colors. This is gonna be the dark brown that I'm using. I'm just gonna use this as an eyeliner, nice and smooth and creamy, precisely getting it just like I do with the actual um, 
eyeliner, the pencil. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Short little brush, it's perfect. You can definitely hold it. It's not too big, not too long. I'm gonna just dip into this nice and creamy, which is what I really like about it. Just a little bit is what you need. And then I'm going to just stay to the base of my lashes where I can feel them and I'm gonna just take this across. What I love about this is that it's not gonna move until I take it off. And now to take this off though, you do need an oil-based eye makeup remover. So you can't take it off with like an all May pad if it's just a regular pad. So I'm gonna just apply this nice just to give you can you see that i'm just building it to i i get a thicker lash line i'm not doing a big long eyeliner and also if there's a little bit of a mess up don't worry we can go back and take our smudge brush which is what this is brush is for and we can just smudge across the line to soften it up so you're going to see that i applied this not to the far corner and not to the end of my eye because I want to kind of taper it down. So this is going to give you a little bit more of a powerful eyeliner compared to just a pencil because it's a little bit more dense when it comes to the formulation. So I'm going to just take this and just kind of smudge it out and then taper it down over here in my eye. So you only have a little bit of time to work with this though, because it is going to dry and set. But for my ladies that love to have a product that does not move on your eyeliner or on your brows, this is the product for you. So we have black, we have ash brown, we have medium brown, and we have dark brown. So you have a lot of color options. So this is a really, really pretty product, multi-purpose. And I love the fact that it just, it just looks so pretty. Again, you have this dark brown. It's going to give you a beautiful look, not harsh like black though. That's why I tend to go with the, the browns because I love how just pretty and how uh, elegant it is, but it's not overpowering. Now I will take a little bit and just drag underneath my eye with whatever's left on the brush. So it has a little bit of balance. But that's a really exciting product that is launching soon. You'll find it on the website. So now I'm going to just curl my lashes with my Shu Amora eyelash curler. I want my eyelashes up. Like this is, you know, this is very fresh. This is fun. You want to have your eyelashes up. You can't even see my eyelashes, even though they're super long because they go straight. So I always like to curl them. Again, you can use, I only use a Shu Amora eyelash curler or I use a heated eyelash curler. So either or. You just want to, you can see I'm pumping, so I'm really getting to the base and I'm lifting my lashes. Now I'm gonna go in, it goes without saying, because if you've been watching my, my videos, I get my long luscious lashes by using the Grande Lash Serum, something that we sell here in the studio. I have been doing lash extensions for gosh, 12 years. And when my clients wanted to take a break or what have you, I would put them on the lash serum and they saw such great results. This is why I carry the lash serum and I carry the brow serum because I see results. You can see with my lashes that they're very long. And I think that as we age, we need to be putting serums. We need the help. We are losing hair. We are aging. This is no secret. And we want to basically help and boost whatever we can. So I'm gonna be using our mascara. Again, this is a beautiful wand because it has teeth on both sides. So exciting because it took me forever to create my mascara with the perfect wand. It's curved just slightly. You've got these nice, beautiful teeth on either side. So you're grabbing every single lash. We all need every single lash coated and the formulation's nice and creamy. So this is great for sensitive eyewearers. This is a really wonderful, mascara that is going to not clump it's going to really just give you this beautiful lash look and you can see it's grabbing my lashes i like to go wiggle back and forth and then just come straight up so it really enhances my lashes nicely then what i'll do is once i apply it to my all of my lashes with the little teeth i will take the wand and i'll take it flat so then I'll coat just the base. So I'm gonna just take it and I just coat the base a little bit more with the mascara. So 
So then you have these beautiful lashes that are up, separated, all with the beautiful mascara on them. So how are you ladies feeling now? Are you feeling good? Are you feeling stressed? Do makeup tutorials help you? Leave a comment below and let me know. So I can really, I can really, um, you know, design my videos for you and what you're really looking to do. All right, so we have mascara on, we have our eyes on, and so let's color correct, because I have been dealing, like I had said before in the beginning of the video, lots of redness on my body, lots of dry patches. I see lots of redness, discoloration on my face too. Isn't that wonderful? So I have three color correctors for you. We have a new one coming out. It's a peachy undertone. I have our highlight, which is a yellow toned. This is a yellow base. And then we have our no redness, which is going to be a green tone. So this is gonna help color correct. So redness, you're gonna cancel it out with the green. So that's why we call it no redness. Then if you have age spots or darkness, I have this, now it's really lightened up a lot right here. I've been using a lot of different brighteners from the Corez, the vitamin C. This used to be, you, you can see on Instagram my pictures, I used to have a big spot right here and it really considerably lightened up with the Caudalie, the Vino Perfect, and also the Corez, I'll link everything below, the vitamin C. So if I have more darkness, I have pigmentation on my face, you know, I'm just gonna do little, like little spot, like I have a little bit of um, hyperpigmentation, you know, from the sun in the car, being a native Floridian. I'm gonna do it like that. And then underneath my eye area, I'm gonna just swipe. You can take your concealer brush too. Take a little concealer brush, you can use it like this, and you can go in on the areas that are dark, that are, you know, wanting to lighten up, you wanna color correct. It might look a little weird, but that's okay because we're gonna blend this all together. So this is my trick for you ladies. So if you really wanna get lightness to the face, you really want to have a correction, I go from the inner corner of my eye here, all right? I go straight down to the corner of my nose and I come back up to the corner of my eye. So it's like an upside down triangle. Then I fill it in with my color corrector and then I'm gonna go over it with my concealer. I have to do this no matter what. This is my stress-free makeup. Yes, it's simple, it's easy, but these are things I do have to do to color correct, unfortunately. Um, stress skin, um, aging, you know, things like that. I, you know, try to control, but I'm not always successful, so I have to do these steps. So I'm not just slapping on my foundation and saying, okay, no biggie, like, let me just go. I want, I want to look in the mirror when I pass by it on my way to my home office. <laughs> Um, I want to, I want to look like, oh God, you know, I feel good about myself. It's all about feeling good about yourself. There's nothing wrong at this time for taking care of yourself with doing a little color correction, putting on some makeup, putting on a lip gloss, whatever you fancy ladies, you know, if you want to put on beautiful chandelier earrings and your robe, look, I always say there's no rules in beauty and now there's no rules at all. You can wear a robe with, you know, chandelier earrings and, you know, have a good time. And I want you to have a good time. I want you to have a little escape. I want you to feel like I'm going to sit at my vanity and have a glass of champagne and make myself feel beautiful today. You know, this is I feel that it's mental self-care for us to be able to do this, to come together, do a makeup tutorial together, put on our makeup together. There's nothing wrong with that. And I don't want you to feel like it's, you know, trivial or, you know, shouldn't be doing this. No, this is how we are able to keep moving forward, feel good, keep our focus on, you know, something for ourselves for an hour, for a half an hour, for 45 minutes, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to just work this in with the foundation brush these little spots that I would love to go away, but I am treating them. I'm very diligent about it. I have a video coming up about hyperpigmentation and things to, to help you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, since I am on vacation and I want just a nice little, you know, coverage, I don't want a lot of coverage, I'm going to do my Just Skin from Caudalie. I've showed you this before. Not Caudalie, Chantecaille, sorry. The C's got me all excited and I said the wrong one. So this is Chantecaille, it's called Just Skin. I'm using it in vanilla. So I'm just going to place this on my skin. So hydrating, so nice. It is a little bit pricier. I think it is 72, but I've had this tube for, I don't know when I started showing it to you, months and months ago. Um, but it's gonna last, I don't use that much. I'm just going to, place it like so, and I'm gonna go back in with my 
foundation brush. You can also use a sponge if you want to use a beauty blender. Sometimes I don't like using beauty blenders because I feel like all my product is now in the sponge. So I like to use the foundation brush because I feel like it doesn't soak up all my product. So in this area, I kind of like to dab. I don't like to move around my, uh, my corrector. And I will be going over with my concealer something a little different today, ladies. I wanted to do something a little bit different. You don't have to put your concealer on before your foundation. I know that might come to a surprise because that's how a lot of people do it. But guess what? We're doing it different today. We are going to do it different. And that's just what we're going to do. So if I'm feeling like I need a little bit more coverage, I'm going to just take my concealer brush. I have a three well concealer here. I have it in a cool undertones and I have it in warm. So depending on what you are, if you're a cool undertone, you'll go with the cool buff. If you're warm, you'd go with the warm front. Now you have three options, which is so wonderful. So some days I might just use a lighter color or some days I might, you know, do a little bit of the a mixture with a darker color. What's wonderful is you don't have just one color because I don't feel like you just have one color skin the same every single morning. So that's why I don't like having a concealer that's just one color because I, I feel very limited. I guess maybe that's my being an artist. I like to mix and kind of go with what my skin's doing. So I'm going to just do a little, little, uh, you know, combination here. It's going to be just, I have this, you know, I talked about the, I had a little biopsy on my face with stitches. So I have a little bit of an issue right here. I'd like to just give a little extra coverage there. And then over here I had, don't ask me why it was the same exact spot. I had some really bizarre, I don't know what it was. I thought it was a bite, but it turned into a, you know, something that was very, had lots of inflammation, lots of like damage to the tissue there from what I guess it maybe wasn't a bite. I don't know what it was, but it left, it, la it left a lasting impression. Let's just say that. All right. So we have our concealer on, we have our corrector. We did a little bit of a nice skin tint. This is our tinted moisturizer SPF 15. So this is wonderful. We have our cheeks left. We have a little bit of face glow to do, eyebrows, and our beautiful lips. So let's just go in with the brow fix. We're going to just cover. I have a couple grays. I'm going to just lift my brows, cover the gray. I have two grays in this brow. Yes, it must be from the extra, you know, stress maybe, or maybe not. So this is wonderful. This is a brow fix, a nice round ball at the, the, at the end to pick up the hair, just disperses the right amount of product, not too much. That's why I love that I have a ball wand for you. Clear, we have dark brunette, we have brunette, blonde, a really wonderful product that everyone should have. So you can just keep your eyebrows, you know, groomed, looking pretty and cover that gray. No more tinting, ladies. You don't have to do that. Just put that on. Also, if you wanted to do something easy called simplicity, this is a lip and cheek stain. Literally, well, you know, we'll use this today. I was going to use, um, I was going to use Palm Beach, a creamy blush, which is really wonderful. You see your skin through it, gives you just a little bit of color, but I haven't shown you simplicity. And since we're on vacation, then we're kind of hanging out together and not wanting too much. We're just going to swipe this on our cheeks in a minute. But first, let me show you Poolside. This is a face glow. Now, you might be familiar with my facelift, which is my original, my OG, original group of face glows. This is going to be a nice icy champagne color. It's like universal. It's, your, it's a beautiful, beautiful just highlight. Now, you can add this into a little bit of a tinted moisturizer. You can add it into your foundation. You can use it on your... Um, your cheekbones, you can use it on your actual lid. So I'm going to show you, um, this is called Rose, please. This is more of a peachy pink undertone, really, really pretty. And then this is our poolside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a tiny bit, it's literally, you just need a little drop, and I'm going to put it on my cheek bone right here. So what's nice about this is not a disco ball. It's not glittery. It's not over the top. You're going to only really see it when you move into the light. So it gives your face a lift. It gives your face this pretty youthful look. I like to just put it here and then I'm going to, well, I was experimenting a little bit um, and putting it on my 
eyes just to pop right in the center. I think it looks so pretty. Just a little bit here. You can see how it just lightens it up. I'm just using just a tad. And this is such a great eye palette, the Elevated, because it's so neutral. You can add this to it. You can also add the Rosé, please, if you want to. So that's just a little trick to give some youthful light to your face, so not too much. Now, I'm gonna go into Simplicity, which is basically like Benetint. It's kind of like that if you like that kind of easy, simple kind of cheek stain. So I like to smile, and then I just put it on right here on my apples of my cheeks because I want this to look like where I flushed. I'm just giving a little bit of color, not much, not much. Again, if we were on vacation together and we were, you know, say I wanted to just hang by the pool or I'm meeting you for cocktails, I want a little color. I don't want to overdo it. And I want stuff that's going to be products that are going to be more of a liquid, you know, because it's going to be humid and warm and hot. So I don't want a lot of stuff going on my skin. So now for the exciting part. I have launched just this week, I have 10 new Kohl lip liner pencils that are made, made in Germany, nice and smooth and creamy. These go with some of our most popular lipsticks. So you're gonna have a matching lip liner to your favorite lipsticks, whether that is Beach House, Santorini, which we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna be using Poppy, which is a really nice coral. This happens every time I drop all my, I drop. so. We're in the stress-free zone, it's okay. All the makeup can fall. All right, so I'm gonna be using Poppy, so, so pretty. So I'm going to just line my lips and just give them some definition. This is really important, ladies. As we age, we start losing, our lips get lighter and we start losing that definition. I definitely think a lip liner is so important because you're gonna define your lips. You're gonna have your lips a little bit more prominent. There's a lot of little cheats. If you have thinner lips, you can basically create, like you would, you would connect the cupid's bow. So there's two points you have here. You would connect them to make your lip look bigger, but you're not going outside the lip vermilion. I think that looks very fake. So if you just connect them, you are not, and I'll show you how, I'll do that with my, my application today. So what you're gonna do is, so I'm gonna start at the top here first, and then I'm just gonna work my way down. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the top two peaks. Do you see how I just want to cross? So I'm not going, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just connecting. So it makes my lips look poutier. So I'm not getting that, those two, those two, the cupid's bow. I'm not getting those two um, harsh peaks. I'm just kind of doing a nice smooth connection and it makes my lips look poutier. This is a trick that I've used on so many different clients and it works on everyone. You just have to go a little bit higher, but not over the top so it looks strange. Now another pro tip is you can fill in your lip with the pencil. It gives you a little bit more staying power. Now I'll go in with Beach House. Beach House is a nice high gloss lipstick that's gonna give you a nice sheer coral look. It's not gonna be overly pigmented. Very comfortable on the lips, very moisturizing, vitamin E, has a hint of vanilla. You can see that it gives you a little bit, it's not matte gives you a little bit of that gloss look. Now, if you want to have a little bit more punchy coral, you're ready to go for it. You're like, yes, I'm on vacation, I don't care. I want some color on my lips. You can go with Santorini. This is another coral color, a little bit more. I'm just gonna layer them, but. That's gonna be a little bit of a stronger color for my coral loving ladies. Now. You can put on a little bit of the Defiance if you want to. One of my favorite lip glosses that I recently launched because I'm defiant, defiant about 
my hair, define about my makeup, there's no rules. So just a little bit. This is really nice if you just wanna have a coral lip, but it's very sheer, just a little bit of color. You can see this on my website. I did um, a photo shoot with this to launch it. I just like the extra. I just like a little bit of extra. And you know what I thought? This is a perfect with, with the tropical, with the earrings, the coral. Everything looks really, really pretty. You can also do a little, if you want to, you can do a little, um, I have Chanel exquisite pink on today, but you can do an OPI color that if you love coral, listen, I'm just going in with a theme, the palm theme, the beachy theme. This is called me, my selfie and I. I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun because I, I keep seeing on Instagram, like everybody, we're just taking pictures of like flowers and ourselves, and then flowers and <laughs> then all this other stuff. So I thought it would be kind of a fun, you know, if you wanted to kind of add in your nails into this whole makeup, exciting vacation we're going on. Now I'm thinking, I love the look, but I always want to bump it up one more step for you. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you summer heat because I have summer heat that just launched. This is a vinyl lick. Uh, this is a vinyl lipstick or show up because I'm all about showing up, showing up for yourself at this time, showing up for yourself when we're out of this time, always showing up for yourself. So it's a bright peony pink. I love it. You'll, you'll see, I did a photo shoot with a flower crown on my head. When I did this, this, I wanted to, I wanted to, to just be, you know, just fun. Like, you know, out there. All right, I'm gonna take off this lipstick and I'm gonna go in with, um, we have a really beautiful lip liner too, Rubis, that will go with this um, Summer Heat. Again, great time to put on a little bit of the eye and lip primer. I can just put a little bit on, get rid of that coral, because I'm going in with a beautiful deep red. And this vinyl liquid lipstick is so comfortable, so, pretty it goes on like butter it's absolutely gorgeous you'll love wearing this new formulation that i have i only have two in this formulation right now but it's so pretty smooth, buttery, and of course, I'll have to change my earrings. We'll take out the orange, we'll put in the nice and white, going with the red. So this is gonna be just a little, you know, I always love giving you options. There's never one option when it comes to makeup. So you have this neutral lip, I mean, this neutral eye palette. You can go as, you know, put maybe you would wanna put your hair back with this look, you know, have a little red lip, beautiful kind of like tropical earrings on. Maybe you won't be in your tropical robe when you're when you're going out on this, but guess what? It's comfortable, it's fun. Ladies, relax, enjoy yourselves, ask me any questions. I am here for you to create a wonderful experience when it comes to makeup, skincare, body care, and until my next video, I'll see you later. Bye.